Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this tutorial video I want to show you how you can calculate the quarter over quarter change. So usually this is the kind of data that you would be having if you are expecting the quarter over quarter change. So what I am having here is the retail data set in which I am having orders. These are the orders which I am receiving let's say in this year I received 1315 order next year I received 1687 but in within the year we have quarter 1, 2, 3 and 4 and each quarter we are receiving certain order and management always want to know are we really improving from previous quarter to this quarter that means the employees are giving efforts, marketing strategies are working as expected so that the volume of the order is increasing right. So for that expectation we need to show them in terms of percentages are we improving by 5%, 10%, 50%, what are we really improving with and present the metric. So to do that what I am going to show you is the formula that you can use for this uh, calculation okay. So this is a data set where you have on which particular day or date the order has received and these are the quarters this is the automatic hierarchy which it creates and we have the distinct count of order id right which i have put it over here if you see this is a count distinct which i have chosen okay once i have done that to uh, calculate i need to click on new measure to new measure is something which i will going to uh, create but before that just a quick information that if you have landed very first time on my channel then you should know about this uh, power bi this uh, sorry google sheet where I keep all of the all of my videos related to Power BI and if you see all, these are all the titles and this is the link related to this video. So the idea over here is that you can explore any of my content very easily like some of these folks are really doing and uh, based on the how to videos or dashboard or anything which I am publishing related to the Power BI is at one single place easy to search and uh, you can jump onto the video directly from here. So this is my way of keeping the inventory and I'm opening it up to you so that you can keep it, bookmark it and use it whenever you need it. Okay, let's come back to Power BI. All right, so here we have the first thing is we will going to create a new measure and this new measure will going to be Q O or no, previous quarter or last quarter. And last quarter calculation will be based on the calculate and distinct count. And in this distinct count, we will going to, uh, we will going, sorry, distinct count is something I have already done. So order ID, right? And then we want to move on to the previous quarter. So for that, I will going to use the date add function. And that will be based on the order date on which the date uh, we have all these date calculation. I want to go back to the previous quarter. So minus one and this the cal the period or the interval will be the quarter. That way it will going to create fetch the previous quarter value. So then we can basically see 179 value in front of 294 to do the calculation. Okay. So last quarter is present over here. I bring it up here. So if you see 179 this 406 is basically 2018 q4 we can validate that for example in case of q4 here 464 but in 2020 464 is coming here in front of q1 so to do the calculation and that is something automatically happening because we are correctly specifying the dates in this so we don't have to do any manipulation okay so once we are done with this the way we can uh, do the next the change calculation is by creating a measure let's say we call it QOQ quarter over quarter change percentage QOQ percentage is equals to using the divide function first of all we will say distinct count of our order ID this is to basically get the current quarter order minus the previous quarter order which is the last quarter order divided by last quarter right and close this. So that will going to create the QOQ percentage which is over here and then I can click over here onto the percentage and that way I can bring the percentage over here and this is where my percentage is. So from 406 to 179 negative right but from 179 to 294 for, for positive 64 percent from 294 to 378 positive 28 percent. From 378 to 364, positive 22%. From 464 to 240, right, negative 48%, around 50% less. 
So that's basically what it is showing you as to how you can do all of this calculation very easily with the help of the calculate uh, date add and the divide function for anything that you want to do related to the change percentage. So this is what I wanted to show you in this video as to how you can do this quarter over quarter change percentage calculation within Power BI and get the desired output. With that, thank you so much and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.